Hey everyone, Clavet5 here. Let's get started with Fez Guide. I know some of you may have been watching my Fez walkthrough. This is going to be a little different. That was more explorational, me trying to figure out what was what. This is going to be me describing how to figure things out. I want to be sure, though, that I'm not spoiling things without that you wouldn't otherwise know, so I'm not going to take any knowledge for granted. So, yeah, I'm going to try to fly through some of this stuff. And by, uh, I guess, taking things for granted, what I, by that I mean... Uh, when it comes to entering codes or figuring out secrets, uh, I'm going to assume that you have never played this game uh, and wouldn't otherwise know how to achieve certain things. So, blah blah blah, me talking, here comes a thing, and you know what? I don't know if you actually want to end up watching through this. Sure. Let's just, let's watch through this, I guess. Jibber jabber jibber jabber jibber jabber. Some very ambitious Fez players have translated that, by the way. Get a breath. So by the time we get to the end of this, uh, we'll, uh, you'll have the capability of also translating that if you so desire. I love the tassel on that thing. Two little blocks. <laughs> oh my. Why is it in stereoscopic mode? <laughs> Maybe because I've already, uh... Yeah, whatever it is. What's going on? So here's one thing I don't get. Everything seems to be going fine until you start rotating. 640k of RAM is not very much. Drums. Bunch, da, da, bum, bunch. Yeah, drums. Okay, I'll stop messing around here. This is Fez Guide after all, not Fez run around and do nothing. <laughs> your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. It's funny because he's a, or he or she is a hypercube. The hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and scattered. 
I like that shattered and scattered. All over the world, you must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You've received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you. There's a world beyond your village, and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This door leads to the outside world, but for now it is sealed shut. The marking on it indicates that it will open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of the journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. I will try. There are eight cube bits in this village. Like this one right here. Together they will form a full cube which you can use to unseal the door. Find them! Okay. So quick recap. Shiny golden cubes. Very important. Gotta find them all. Or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember, use a right trigger, left trigger to change your perspective. Now get going! Hello children! Where did you go? Kids always thinking of themselves. A devil square. Yeah. Look at this old guy here. Nice hat, why thank you. There's the eye thing. Love that. Hmm. Look at these little pictures on the wall. They seem to be important. Huh. That was a cube. But that's not possible. Whoa. So it's kind of cute they have a drawing of a cube with a question mark. Like, is there more to this world? That's kind of clever, too. Cheese goes really pretty. But don't do it again. I love the coil and the coils on the back of the fridge there. That's awesome. <laughs>
interesting. Not quite sure what the mark on that guy's forehead is either. Why are their heads so big? You guys ever watch uh, Invader Zim? Reminds me of uh, one of my favorite lines from Gurr. It's like, why is his head so big? Why is his head so big? Ta-da! I can now unseal the door. Let's go! You'll thank me that I'm saving you a key for right now. There's really nothing in there that we can figure out. I mean, it's an interesting room. Oh my. I didn't think that I would die there. Hey, listen. I know this is your first time outside the village. So if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press back to bring up the world map. Check that out. Oh, there's more in this room. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, so anyway. Uh, warp gate, small gate, treasure, locked door, qubits. Secret. Alright. Cool. There are qubits to be found in this place. this place out. It feels pretty important, eh? Phil Fish is Canadian, so he's probably gonna slip a few A's in there. Phil Fish is the guy who programmed this, or who designed this game, I guess we should say. Oh, no way. It's another door. I told you there'd be a lot of doors. This one requires four cubes. This one, eight. And this one, sixteen. This place, it's like some sort of important door place. Oh, I don't know. That's why you're here. Now go find them cubes. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. If you press Y, you'll bring up the inventory. Inventory keeps track of the things you find. Okay, now I'm done, I swear. That's the inventory. Two cubes and two keys. Treasure maps. Artifacts. Nada. Alright. is the most relaxing music in the game. I know it's kind of pathetic to admit this, but uh, I would listen to the uh, sort of the preview uh, videos of Fez. The music is so it's therapeutic in many ways. In my opinion, anyway. Let's see. More qubits to find? Let's find out. Qubits all found. So let's... Actually, yeah, let's... Let's go this way. Oh, wow, I thought I would die there. Oh, 
It's quite a drop. This is Fez Guide, and I'm asking if I missed anything. Oh my. Sometimes you have to make sure you move a little bit before. Otherwise, it won't figure out that you've actually. You know. It's sort of a weird movement system. If you don't move. If you move, then you sort of slide to the front of whatever geometry you're standing on. I don't know how you want to say that, but that's how it works. sorts of keys. I like that. That's funny. Hmm. I wonder how to get over that chest. There must be something important in it. Oops. I guess we'll find out eventually what it's for. Oh my. That was not intentional. back to the nearest large world, I think. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that any other way. Oh, that's too far. Come 
says, watch out. Black holes. Black holes are bad. Without the hexahedron, the world is growing unstable. Space can only be folded so many times before it rips. That's interesting. Okay. There's one more door here, I think. Yep, one more door. Oh, yep, still haven't found that chest. Well, I found it, I just don't know what to do with it yet. Oops. are one of the cool things about this game is that there really literally is no clues to what it actually means. You have to literally figure it out yourself. Which I like. It's a puzzle platformer after all. And part of the fun is figuring it out. You feel really smart when you do. I'm going to make you feel really dumb because you're just going to learn from me if you haven't figured it out already. Jay. I found four cubes. Hey, I can't open that door we saw earlier. I'll wait. I've heard that blue jays are actually really mean birds. In the Fez world, though, they're peaceful, so rest assured. nabbed everything in this area except for that one chest. So I'm going to take the warp gate back. And I believe that's going to be the end of part one. Uh, we've captured four cubes. We went through sort of the, uh, the arch section. I don't really know what to call it. So... None of these rooms have names, but yeah, I'll call it the Arch. Uh, and I guess that's that. We'll go explore some other sections in just a bit. Thanks for watching, everyone.